I'm on. Okay, everybody. We saw how lefso was made. This is another favorite called kringla. Kringla is a kind of a sweet dough that you roll into like a pretzel. And um, everybody, uh, at least in my family, loves them. And they're quite yummy. They're kind of a family tradition that I make. And um, so there's, uh, there's their fourth batch. So uh, we're going to stick this in the oven and I'll show you some that are baked. Yes, and, and Mike is a little bit of a Susie homemaker. And here's the ones that are baked. They kind of puff up. They get all kind of nice and happy, and then I kind of toss them in here. Of course, i got to eat one. That one's mine. So I've been making these, actually these date back to my grandmother who made these. And when I was a little boy, we'd go visit them on the farm in Minnesota. And my grandmother, sorry. That's good. They taste better in about a day, though. Um, anyway, my grandmother used to make them by the, by the bushel. And this dough, it takes two days to make, because you got to make it the first day, and then the dough needs to rest because it needs to set up, and it's a very uh, wet dough. So, anyway, after it sets up, you grab a little ball of dough, and you roll it out like a pencil. Now my grandma used to do it one-handed. I don't know how she did it, but I kind of cheat. I used two-hand twist and tie and put it right there. But anyway, I don't know how she did it and made so many. Because as little kids, we'd stick them on our fingers. And now having made them, my poor grandmother worked her fingers to the bone, making all these bunches of kringlas. They're actually better when you put a little mocha in the morning or a little coffee, toss them in the microwave for 10 seconds and, and away they go. So that's my treat for Christmas. <laughs>